What's your boy T Bear having any reaction? Should let you know this. I'm doing a little quick pre Halloween um, reaction videos though to get out of the way in case I'm not available to do some reaction videos on Halloween day. So I just got finished doing one about Freddy Krueger being on Goldberg and then Michael Trashman with Michael Myers getting my house that was lit. So this one is vibrant horror movies. This is a Watch Mojo Top 10. This is Smart Decisions in Horror Movies. So now, you know a lot of horror movies are filled with like dumb decisions to at least a smart one to find out who, how to kill the main killer or antagonist who's doing the killing and slaughtering though. So this is the top 10 smart decision in horror movies though. So without further ado, let's check it out. It takes brains to beat Oh god, thing. I did not like that shit. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 smartest decisions made by horror movie characters. Looking for more scares? Be sure to check out Read Only debut edition of Watch Mojo Publishing's Fiction Quarterly. Nice. For this list, we're honoring those rare times when horror movie characters break with the dumb stereotype and mm -hmm. do something smart to survive. We're basing our picks on a mix of resourcefulness, the genius of their ideas, and how well it works out. Given the final fights involved in our list, a major spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10. Staring at the corner. Blair, Blair Witch. Witch. That's a new one. When your big bad has its own legend, it's best to use that to your advantage. In this return to the found footage legend of the Blair Witch, our heroes made sure to do their homework first. As James and Lisa arrive at the original Blair Witch House, they find themselves at a considerable disadvantage against the vastly overpowering witch. According to legend, however, she can only kill them if they look right at her. So they stare at the corner to stay alive, even using their camcorder to look around without getting killed. Although they're eventually outsmarted back, at least they manage to temporarily outsmart her. Oh, shit. Number nine, using a pig. The Texas That's the Chainsaw, Chainsaw Massacre. Master. Good things come in small packages. On her own against the chainsaw-wielding Leatherface, Erin has virtually no way to fight back, so she runs into a nearby slaughterhouse to hide. Tucking herself away in a hall full of walkers, Erin covers her mouth and tries to remain silent. But she also has a four-legged friend along to help. Murderer approaching, Erin desperately holds her breath before Leatherface hears a noise and opens a locker. Distracted by the pig inside, Leatherface doesn't even see Erin until she comes down at him with a meat cleaver, mm. taking his arm and chainsaw off in one clever switch. Ah. Oh, shit. Number eight, almost everything Erin does. You're next. Oh, okay. Damn. Underestimating your enemy is one of the easiest ways for your plan to fail. After being invited by her boyfriend to a family reunion, Erin is caught in the middle of a murder spree when the family starts getting killed off by mass intruders. Oh shit! The wild card, however, is that Erin's survivalist training means she holds her own against the murderers, mm. even setting up traps to stop them. Making use of anything to get an edge, including using a blender and camera to kill someone, Erin appears to have been thinking ah. through every encounter clearly and able to deliver brutal blows without hesitating. Oh, shit. Number oh, seven, using a hanger show. as a weapon. Mm -hmm. Halloween. You can't kill the boogeyman. Surviving a horror movie means being able to turn anything into a weapon. Oh boy, Chased I'll down by the menacing Michael Myers, Lori finds herself in the hardest babysitting job of her life, having yeah, to protect focus. herself and the children from <clears throat> a seemingly invincible lunatic. Thinking quickly, she fashions a blade out of a coat hanger and stabs Myers in the eye, injuring him long enough for him to get shot by Dr. Loomis. Oh, you know the mask, you Oh, shit. Turns out Lori had such a good head on her shoulders that she finally relieves Michael of the head on his shoulders many sequels later to keep him from coming back again. Mm. And then found out that Number six, wasn't him. using a pen to stab a hole in your throat, Saw 5. Oh, yeah. 
It's rare to call anyone smart for stabbing themselves in the neck, but it might just save your life in a pinch. Hunting the Jigsaw Killer, FBI agent Strom stops one killer only to be caught by another finding himself in his own disturbing trap in the process. Waking up in one of the few unbeatable traps of the series, Strom is seemingly doomed as the box encasing his head quickly fills with water. Already beating one jigsaw killer, Strom uses the pen in his pocket to perform a tracheotomy on himself, allowing him to breathe until he's saved. Talk about thinking outside the box. Right now, he didn't make it. No way, man. Number five. The Escape Plan, 10 Cloverfield oh, Lane. Boy. Michelle, why is this loose? Escaping a madman takes a lot more preparation than a spur-of-the-moment idea. Realizing Howard will almost definitely kill her, Michelle has to find a way... So to he, was a, he was a killer on that. discovering a second exit hatch while fixing their ventilator, Michelle devises a plan to get out. She gets the upper hand on Howard long enough to crawl through the vents and climb to the hatch. Using compressed air to freeze and shatter the lock, Michelle dons her makeshift hazmat suit and rises to the surface to see the outside world once again. Wow. Number four, shoot uh -huh. the bad guy in the head to make sure. Scream 2. Go ahead and give me the gun. The gang in the Scream series knows how to survive a horror movie, even using internet calls as far back as the 90s to save themselves. Mm -hmm. However, one thing the group was particularly ignorant of the first time around was making sure the killers were even dead. But in the sequel, Sydney Prescott does not mess around. She did? I don't know. I always come back. After seemingly killing Mickey and Mrs. Loomis, Sydney and Cotton take a breath before Mickey comes back, getting immediately shot by Sydney and Gail. Mm -hmm. Learning her lesson, Sydney shoots Loomis in the head just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number three, setting up booby traps <laughs> and hiding up. Yep. A nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> yes, being covered in love. Two ways. With her friends getting murdered around her, Nancy decides she has to take the fight against Freddy Krueger into her own hands. Realizing she can bring him out of her dream, Nancy booby traps her house and asks Don to help her once she gets Freddy on her turf, managing to pull him out. Nancy gets Freddy into the real world, and even lures him into her traps long enough to set him on fire. Not so easily defeated, however, Kruger, of course, returns. Mm -hmm. Number two, scientific method, the thing. The thing. Oh, oh yeah. I already know. The researchers in this claustrophobic horror classic are faced with quite the conundrum. How do you find a monster that can look like your friends? Using their brains, however, the surviving members of the Arctic facility go about revealing the alien in the most rudimentary way possible. A simple blood test. This is pure nonsense. This prove a thing. Knowing the creature's blood will try to protect itself, R.J. McCready takes a sample of everyone's blood and heats it with a copper wire. We'll do you last. Mm -hmm. As he dips the wire in Palmer's blood, the sample jumps from the dish and flees, revealing the alien among them. Mm -hmm. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Paul, you can't! Why not? I learned from you. Mm. Snow Footprint Trail, The Shining. <laughs> Never doubt the resourcefulness of a kid at death's door. Mm -hmm. Running for his life from his deranged and homicidal father, Danny heads for the hedge maze at the snowed in and very haunted Overlook Hotel. Knowing he can't outrun his father forever, Danny realizes he has to throw his dad off the scent and ditches running for a better plan. Backtracking through his own steps and hiding, his father reaches the end of his trail and proceeds to search aimlessly for him in the giant maze. He away. Following his own prince out of the maze, Danny runs into his mother's arms, leaving Dad to suffer in the cold. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Oh, yeah, over dumb decisions.
You know what? I'm gonna look at that one then. But yeah. As you've seen, you know, I'll always be stupid in a horror movie and yeah, have some smart decisions though. But the lady I want for a dumb decisions, so I might check that one out too. So some of them was pretty good. Some movies I saw I never heard of. Some some I heard of but never watched. Some the few I never even heard of, like the one that the robbers intruded killing all the family though. It was crazy. But other than that, this was good though. So, if you like more reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bird signing off. One love.